this video, we're going to look at Acoustics playback pages. There's two playback pages, and they can be toggled by using this green switch here to get access to pages one and two. First, let's look at pick direction and strum direction. The pattern that's currently playing is playing a combination of single notes and chord strums. By default, Acoustics will automatically select the direction of the picking and strumming by using its artificial intelligence. But if you want, you can specify that single note picking or strumming can be forced to use only downstrokes or upstrokes. By using pick position, you can specify where on the neck the player should be playing. It's a subtle distinction, but you'll notice that if you go towards the neck, you'll get a warmer tone while towards the bridge, you'll get a more percussive, metallic tone. The strum type knob lets you specify which strings are going to be preferred when using the strumming engine. By default, Acoustics will use all the strings, but, for example, listen to Acoustics interpret the same MIDI playing, but force it onto only the lower strings. The strum voicing knob lets you override any chord voicings you may set up on the chords page, which will be discussed in a separate video, and lets you force strumming to specific areas on the fretboard. For example, if I turn this knob to maximum, Acoustics will force all the strumming as high as it can on the fretboard. By using the strum speed knob, you can also specify the strum speed in milliseconds. This actually specifies the amount of time between one string and the next. So if you're playing a six string guitar, a setting of 10 milliseconds will take 60 milliseconds to play all the strings. Here, I'll adjust the strumming to 50 milliseconds to get a completely different feel. Slower strumming is also effective when playing ballads at slower tempos. Also note that all these parameters we're discussing can be automated. Just right-click or control-click on any knob, choose Learn MIDI CC Automation, and then wiggle a knob or slider on your controller, and that on-screen knob will now be tied to the physical controller you just touched. This makes it easy to program real-time changes to any parameter in the acoustics interface. Switching over to page two, you can access some finer control over the playing behavior of the guitar. By using select string, you can specify the string you want acoustics to play on. Acoustics will do its best to force the notes onto the string as long as it's physically possible. If not, it'll choose the closest available string. Select fret allows you to specify which fret you want to play on. Like select string, Acoustics does its best to play around this fret unless it's physically impossible. The Volume Noises is the master volume control for all ancillary noises like pre-pick noise, strum noise, and slide noise. These noises are inserted into your playing through artificial intelligence and help produce a more humanized performance. The Volume Releases knob controls the volume for all release noises. In an effort to sound as real as possible, Every time you release notes, Acoustics is quietly playing back samples of a finger lifting off a string to mimic how a guitar behaves in real life. This level can be adjusted here. These two knobs allow you to customize how vibrato works. Vibrato is controlled by using the mod wheel, or MIDI CC number one. As you add MIDI CC number one, you can customize stronger or weaker vibrato and adjust its speed. Be sure to check out the other acoustics tutorial videos for more details on how other aspects of this instrument work.